hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here the question is asking two large flat horizontally oriented plates are parallel to each other a distance d apart a distance d apart halfway between the two plates the electric field has a magnitude of e if the separation of the plate is reduced to d by 2 what is the magnitude of the electric field halfway between the plates okay so they have they are changing the distance from d to d by 2 and they are asking for the change in electric field so if we have like uh, if we have an electric field between two plates electric electric field between two plates the electric electric field equation is e is equal to uh, sigma over 2 epsilon naught so sigma is basically the charge density charge density right so if you notice that uh, there's no effect with distance like this uh, electric field is independent of the distance so if you change the distance it's not going to affect the electric field and initially they have given the electric field magnitude, magnitude is e Therefore, if, even if they change the distance, it's not going to be affected by the distance change. So the answer is going to be E. So what's the magnitude of the electric field halfway between the plates? It's still going to be the same. So that's the answer for this question. And let's do the second question. The question is asking three equal negative point charges are pla placed at three of the corners of the square of side D as shown in the figure. Which of the arrows represent the direction of the net electric field at the center of the square? Okay, if you look at this one, so we have charge right here, right here, and right here, right? So all of them are same charges. Since uh, negative Q, the electric field is going toward this one, and negative going toward, and since these charges are equal, this, these two will cancel each other. They are same, uh, same values right so it will cancel each other same values in and opposite direction cancel each other in this direction we don't have anything and here we have this negative q so it's going toward the negative negative for a negative value it's always going toward so here they already mentioned it so therefore the direction is going to be c so the answer is the question is asking which of the arrows represent the direction of the net electric field the C arrow is the answer. So the arrow C is the direction of the net electric field. And that's how we do these kind of problems. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.